Hello? Oh, that was loud. Hey, there we go. Um... I think... I think... And I know every time I say this, I forget one thing, but I think for once... Everything set up properly. So if I head over here... And I press the button... We're here. Awesome. Great. I made sure. I made sure my tablet was plugged in this time. I don't know why. Spyro wasn't muted. It just paused. But I will... There we go. I love this add-on I got for... Opera. It was something I already had. But it, it makes a little pop-out of the the video player whenever I'm out of the tab, so now I don't have to, like, try and time the pause play button perfectly with when I'm streaming and shit. I could just, just, just have the, like, the music as part of my stream overlay. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to get the climb ability. Uh, because after we finish this homeworld, I think what I want to do is go back to Summer Plains and finish up whatever we didn't do there. So that way when, you know, third stream hits, we're just finishing the game. Legend has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also I think, I, know how to activate it. I think Zephyr is the infamous trouble with the trolley level. The legend mentions something about me activating it for, uh... A small fee. Money bags? Eat my whole ass. But sure. For the gem, Spyro. With all this cash, I can open a lizard burger shop in Skelos Badlands. What? I don't think I want lizard burgers. Not gonna lie. Sometimes you gotta give a little opposition to. Life so that when the times do get good, you remember the good day. Hard times that you overcame to get to the good times. So that you learn to appreciate. What the hell was even that? The power from your orbs has activated the whirlwind. I sure. All I did was talk to you, but no. I mean, I will grab this. But uh, speedways. I think we're gonna start saving speedways for last. Uh, no, Breeze Harbor is the trouble with the trolley level. I think Zephyr's the one with the slugs. Well, well. I bet a rich dragon like you... You won't regret... You it's weird, because I thought we unlocked the ability to fly in the... I think this is a level with, like, a bunch of goat people. But... I guess I'm wrong. Um, we'll finish up this world first, like I said, and then go back to, uh, uh summer, whatever the fuck those levels were called. I was, I, I, I could have sworn that there was four worlds in this game. Turns out there's only three. I'm just used to the six in the first game, and then the... Four in the third game. <laughs> Fucking dead. Murdered. I love how casually people just fucking die in this. Spyro, the ice wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. If you get on the catapult. Yeah, the whole level's basically gonna be. Me saving cavemen. Cavemen help me progress through a portion of the level. 
I remember this level having a really annoying minigame where you have to fly through caves to kill a bunch of spiders. So hopefully... I, I remember I spent a lot of time on it the first time I played through this on the Reignited Trilogy. So I'm hoping, I'm praying, that uh... That's the... That it's just like a one and done kind of deal. Watch. We'll have to climb this wall up ahead. Yeah, maybe I don't want to charge the dynamite. Double checking. This level I think is gonna be annoying to like traverse but like click back through so I'm trying to make sure that we don't have to like walk all the way back to the end or some shit by the beginning oh yeah but the reason I mentioned how many worlds there were I was expecting this to last about four streams but it seems like we'll probably be ending it uh Thursday which means I probably need to find a new game already, which I wasn't prepared for. Also, um, it's hot as balls out, so I have the back door open because it's raining heavily and it's cooler outside than it is in here. Um, boy, I guess it would be safe to it would be better to say it is disgustingly hot in the room I'm in more than it's hot as balls out. The whole house feels absolutely normal there, and then for you to cross this our room feels like heat death and i hate it Hang. see it would have been way more funny if the snake ate money bags and then finished the bridge <laughs> Two more enemies opens up the spider shit. Which, yeah. I think this is the end? Part of me really wants to, like, end up going along with the whole maybe I should speedrun Spyro thing. At least try to. But I don't know if I'd want to do Reignited or Original. I feel like Original. As much as I love Reignited, I feel like it honestly be Original. I was just expecting you to break the door down, not a. Uh... Guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball under my head. Exactly. Take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. Bro, that's a chunk of ice. And who'd you trade the hockey tickets to? I do, I do love that that was a thing that they added in Spyro 2, is that there is some sort of storyline between characters you can usually follow. Like how apparently there's a hockey game going over in Colossus and the people here had a ticket for it. Uh, I think this is the dude who's looking for his snow cup? Leopard. Yeah, Snow Cub. What the fuck? Around, he was gone. I hope George didn't get eaten by the Draclids. Oh, I, I completely forgot his name was George. So 
the thing what's happened is he's gonna like sit at a puddle or some shit and I need to knock a fish into his mouth. Wait. Nope, just chase him back. Alright, fine. Or I was right. Okay. Oh, he's... He's doing that fucking shit in Spyro games where instead of making this shit super easy and just straight to the point, we have to do this whole roundabout ass way to just do something simple. I think this is the game that does it the worst. There's a level, I think Stone... No, it might be... No, Stonehill's a game uh, level from the first game. Basically, there's a level with a bunch of satyrs, I think, in this game, and you're not able to beat it until you get a certain ability, but there is a side quest you can do where you free Hunter, but if you don't have the ability to, like, I don't, I don't remember if it was, like, a head smash or some shit, but if you don't have it, you have to go back to the level free hunter and do it all over again. You found George. I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. All I have with me is this round shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You could have it if you like. <laughs> Um, yeah, that is most certainly death. We used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they're infested with multiplying draclets. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. You think you can get rid of them for us? Yeah, so the point of this is basically... Great. I need to kill all 18 of them with the flame power up before they respawn, and I've already fucked up. Also, there's really no point for me to kill them like that, because that means I have to wait for the timer to end for them to, like, respawn. So I, I've already goofed. So far, so good. You have hey, yeah, like second try. Fate. Please accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. And now I'll just run through and grab all the gems that I missed. Double checking to make sure that Sparks is collecting all of them. Since I've been playing Diablo 4, um, it's it's weird. It's a weird segue, but hear me out. Um, something I got really accustomed to in games was if like Sparks' ability in this to collect the gems and stuff that I've run past in Diablo 3. Uh, if you had a pet, it did the same thing, but now I've just gotten used to running past too many shinies because I'm just assuming something's picking it up for me. So I'm still, like, paranoid that I'm going to miss something even though, like, I just completed the level. Um, you know what? No. There we go. Hi, Snake. What's up? 
Hope you were well. Or you've been well. I think I needed to go through the level and burn all the, the flags to get a skill point. But I'm not sure if skill points are necessary for 100% completion. Because I think the most you got on... Oh, what the hell? That was chunky. I think the most you got on PlayStation was like maybe a theme. Not even a theme. I think you just get extra lives like in the original games. I don't think... Either they don't do anything or... We need them to unlock the ultimate flame breath at Dragon Shores. Which is basically the end goal of the game. The final world of this game is uh, Dragon Shores, where Spyro finally gets its vacation. But behind everything there, there's a special power-up that makes it so he always has super breath. Um, so, Stormy Harbor is the one with the pelicans. This is the one with the slugs in the, I think, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Why that bird hot? Why... Why that bird delicious? Why he looking finger looking good? Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. Right, this... This and Storm Harbor, I believe, are the two levels where Spyro just commits war crimes for both sides of the war. So while we're helping out the slugs now, in Storm Harbor, I believe, we're going to be helping out the birds get rid of the slugs. Because they just basically just keep invading each other. I don't think I could kill those birds until I get access to the cannons. That, or I need to spit something at them. I don't remember. Oh, okay, never mind. Come on. You gonna hit me? There we go. It's weird that L2 was breath and not charge. I kind of want to keep holding the trigger down to try and charge things, but I just burn. Can I change that? No. Damn it. I think it's because of games like Spyro. I'm usually pretty good at keeping my eye out for secrets. I'm having a bad time today, but it's okay. Well, I hope it get better. I hope it get better. I hope it get better. I sound like a caveman. I just ungo bungled my way through that sentence. <laughs> I hope it gets better. Worst comes to worst. Uh, I will give you hugs. Can I blow that door up? I'm gonna blow that door up. Yes. If 
Burn. I'm sorry, Chunky Bird. I'm sorry, but love truly cannot bloom on the battlefield. Especially when you're throwing huge things of TNT at my face. I feel like that's homophobic. These children be laughing, but I don't get at what. They're children soldiers in war. <laughs> like... For a second it looked like some laser killed him. I think that was just the orbs from the children I murdered in this war. Oh right, they're not sl I think they're caterpillars. I got an achievement for killing the, can the TNT guy with the... the bomb. The fact that he's just throwing up those barrels. Bro is in the, some of that like weird boar shit. That was my bad. I, I thought that was like, yeah, there's clearly enough space where I could walk between the wall and those barrels, right? Right? There we go. I was... Honestly, I was just too lazy to actually sit and try to aim at that bird. Now I have to go back up and around. I forgot last time. I realized that it was a lot easier if I just held down the left trigger while playing. Instead of actually expecting the camera to work properly. God. Well, isn't it the handsome pixel mug? Hello. Good job, soldier. Like I see this here. I know we don't use this for anything. At least I don't feel like. But it's like, man. Wouldn't it be fucking hilarious if I just murdered this guy? It's me. I'm the problem. My name is Little Bo Peep, and I've lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on all of the time, they keep running away. Can you help me? Cowlicks with like chocolate chip cookies. Boop. I feel like there was one of these that was in a really stupid area. Like, it angered me that it was so far away in, a, like, a stupid location. Like, I can't remember for the life of me if that's actually a thing or if I just thought this mission was annoying. Ah. Ah. Oh, they killed each other. Awesome. I mean, uh, 
Oh, no! <laughs> oh, yeah, here it is. Like, how the fuck did you climb a ladder and get down here? Oh, these fucking things. I have to go around the level and just kind of guess on where it ended up by with the little hint I was given. Not gonna lie, I didn't miss those kind of barrels or vases. Oh, there's two of them down here. Hmm. Wait, where'd the second one come from? Do I need to use Super Flame to get them out of here? I feel like that's killing the animals, not really helping them. Yep. Why'd you go straight up? I'm doing alright. Pretty chill day. Honestly, I woke up, went to a doctor's appointment, and then I uh, passed out. Because existing in this heat is futile for my small peanut brain. I woke up to a nice thunderstorm. So I have the door open, hoping that it was going to pull the room down. But I think... I am just here to suffer. <laughs> what I need is some nice air conditioning and some Five Guys fries. Or just Five Guys. Take that as you will. Oh, you're getting over there. You too. Or... You were the fattest burger in a room that's also the coolest freezer. Exactly! Yes! Or just five guys. You know, you've done nothing particularly wrong, Cowlick, but I'm punishing you anyway because those other two were miserable. I want to move ahead, but the boss won't seem to let me. I swore sometimes that man is out to get me. <sighs> they let you dream. Just to watch him shatter, or you're just a step on the boss man's ladder, but you got dreams he'll never take away. <laughs> Bo Peep, I hope, I hope you become a victim of this endless war. Build a fucking fence. <laughs> You're incompetent as a cheap herder. Cause they're over here. What light from yonder window breaks? That window up there, dummy. The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Dude, instead of having, like, orc tusks, has, like, an orc molar. Instead of a tusk in front, it's just a fucking molar that just grew so proportionately large in front of his face that's just sticking out. I think I should be able to just charge him across the gap. Actually, should... He flies far enough. Um, I'll push him a little further into the cave, and I'll just look for the next one. I feel like he would be stupid enough to fall down and just get stuck again. Also. 
Oh, no. Okay. I thought for a second I saw the mystery vase up there. Yeah! Oh, uh, this is the Reignited Trilogy. It came out... God, like... 2017? Question mark? 2016, maybe? It came out at a time. Uh... The Spyro games are, like... The childhood classic for me. These are the games I played the most growing up. And... I made it a point where it's just... Just for no reason in particular, I'm going to... 100% all games on stream. I have already did the first game uh, a few years ago when I first started streaming. Uh, this will be the second one, and who knows? We might do the third, you know, in a few months, or, you know, we just might never. <laughs> the third game is the only one I have not 100%ed, I believe, at least not in the Reignited trilogy. Um, like, if I looked at my PS4 file, I think I 100%ed both one and two with all the skill points but i only got like 30 percent of the way through three because three i think introduced a lot of the um hey we have a ton of mini games but you have to play them at least twice to get them like to get everything that they have to offer kind of shit and some of the mini games in that just aren't fun i used to say spyro 3 was my favorite but now like that i've actually played two more and I actually really like two a lot more than three. Three will always be the one I'm like super nostalgic for, but I am I am very willing to say that two is the best set of the original trilogy. Well, I am impressed. You got all seven. You lose them again. I'm taking your hair and I'm putting it in a meat grinder. And I'm going to feed you the hair sausage. Snake, do not. I, I have. Mm. I I own the physical version of this for the PS4. Don't make. I will. Do I know where the? Do I know? I mean, if I don't know where that is, I know where the. Oh, I don't know if you have a PlayStation One or Two, but I have the originals on PlayStation One. <laughs> Listen, you don't know how much I'd kill. To sit with a cute boy and play Spyro. Spyro, my boy. I've got a magic bean. My boy. Seed for you in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Why do I think it's I have to plant these seeds in a specific order to make a pathway where I collect more seeds. So I think the first one is over. Ooh. I'll fight you. Boop. And with that one, we get this. The first three are good. The fourth one was Enter the Dragonfly. That one is notoriously known for being an unfinished piece of garbage. Which I mean, I, <clears throat> I guess that makes the game ahead of its time. Because that was... <laughs> that was very much a... This game is hot fucking trash. It was released way before it was ready. And, um... You should probably never play that if you have any interest in... Saving your sanity. Um... No. Well, bad. Oh, right. I put this one here, and then I go back and get the first seed. Not garbage, I play it on TV. <laughs> I 
Oh, oh, fuck. But yeah. Uh, Spyro, uh, Spyro 2 and Spyro 3, they're all pretty solid, with Spyro 3 being the weakest link probably out of all of them. Uh, 4 is technically Enter the Dragonfly, we don't talk about it. Then there was A Hero's Tale, that was the one I wanted growing up, but I got Enter the Dragonfly as a Christmas gift instead of that. Hello? I love how these two I can just find. This one I actually need to, like, finagle it a little bit. This... It doesn't feel right here. Let me just... Hello? Is it not? No, oh, it's still... Because I'm doing the glide and press triangle, but I'm just falling. There we go. Know what the funny part is? I gotta do that again. Um, I think after A Hero's Tale, that's when they tried doing the whole revamp of the series with a new beginning, where it was, I think, Elijah Wood as Spyro. Hello? Am I, am I dumb? Am I dumb? A little bit. But it's okay, I'm pretty. Also, I'm only now realizing that there was probably an easier way to do that, where I wouldn't have to jump down. Yeah. How was your day, Velt? How How is Velt doing today? to get I don't think I was supposed to use that there. Oh my god, Belt, if you need to sleep, please just just get sleep. <laughs> oh no, Snake. Snake, if you're if you need sleep, please get sleep. I thought that I said it before and I said it again again. People with the same chat colors are gonna be the death of me, because I just look for the colors and not the person. Listen, too many of the cute boys in my chat pick the same colors to use as their chat names. Wherefore art thou Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo. Tons, I think, was also a part of the the light green. I think he changed it to orange. You are the uh, the Twitch overlay thing. Now belt is orange. Left on the touchpad for the PS4 controller. Like the left side of the touchpad does that. Actually no, the whole touchpad is just fire. Oh, right. I never got the vase. <laughs> Oops. Honestly, it's easier to save this for the beginning, or the, the last thing we do. That way, you know, 
I don't have to worry about getting murdered while I'm trying to search for this stupid thing. Orange does match your bison fur. not i'm really glad they brought back that that was the one improvement that spyro 3 had over everything though i think you had to wait until a certain point to unlock it but this feature where sparks tells you where the gems are was originally a spyro 3 thing the funny part is like I 100%ed Spyro 3 before I even knew that, because I just never needed it. I would just kind of painstakingly search through the levels, like, inch by inch. Let me guess, it's where I fucking- those two ass cowlicks were, right? Yeah. Of course it's where those fucking- mm. Of course, it's just next to the fucking... Oh, wow. Yeah, I got to spend the weekend. That's not light. Why did I jump in? There's, it, there was a flying flame in the middle. And I looked at that and I was like, Ah, yeah, infinite flight. Let me just fly to the end of the level. But yeah, I got to spend the weekend with the boyfriend. It was good. It was really good. I needed that. Um, plans are to hopefully not have to wait another three years before we see each other. Um, he probably realized how much I kind of missed human interaction by the way I was fucking clinging to him. <laughs> like, like whatever we were cuddling. already gave the thing to me, right? Yes. There you go. There was a uh, one bit, so I've already mentioned this to most of my friends, but so when we got to the hotel room, I th I didn't we we were struggling to find any power outlets. My side of the bed was the one that had an alarm clock, and I must phrase this. It's going to be important. So when we were like. My boyfriend was plugging in a switch. He had to unplug the microwave in the room just, uh, just to just just to have something to power it. And uh, you know what? We did that side. Let's go do Breeze Harbor. And the only outlet on my side of the bed I thought was connected to the wall lamp, like it was like an outlet on the wall right next to the light switch. And I was like, all right, cool. But I had to rotate out my phone, my headphones, and he got me a 3DS, well, he brought me his extra 3DS charger. So I had to rotate those three out because I was messing with all three of those things over the weekend. And Saturday we spent the day hanging out with his friends for a few hours. Uh, he got invited to practice his sousaphone with them. Uh, because they were practicing for the Pride Parade that was happening yesterday. Not yesterday, sat Sunday. So, after that long day, we ended up going out to Longhorn Steakhouse to get some dinner. Hello? Yes? Thank you. 
We are currently suffering from a land blubber infestation. First they put out the fires in our boilers, and now they've shut down our ship too. If you could stoke up the fires under the boilers, I'm sure you could make your way to the ship. The steam from the boilers will activate our highly advanced machinery. Steam powered. It's steam powered. You don't have to make pretend. Um, but after Longhorn Steakhouse, I came back to the room. I flicked the light on, and I noticed that built into my alarm clock was a USB port and two power outlets on my side of the bed. And I stood there, and I screamed, are you fucking kidding me? There was two power outlets here the entire time? And I just punched the air. I sat on the bed. Caster came over, he's like, oh no, it's fine. At least you're hot. <laughs> And I fucking I, I, I died at the at least you're pretty. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was I I felt so defeated because after we woke up, it was basically time to leave. So like by the time I realized it, it wouldn't even matter. <laughs> Because of like how it was rotating things, everything was fully charged by time. Like, but by time I realized all that shit was there. And I get lucky in. Yeah, as soon as you sent me the Discord message saying Caster is hot, I it, like the preview was still on my phone, and this a short enough message that I just showed him the uh. The image, the message preview, and he just laughed. Oh my god. Hi, Tasha. There's almost the opportunity to have him finally meet my friends, but uh. I love you, bitch. Oh my god. I ain't gonna never stop loving you, bitch. Yes. But uh. My one friend has really bad fibromyalgia, and she was having a flare-up. So... Though she really tried to make it, well... She could. She took her medications, but, uh, sadly... Fell down in the process in the excitement of getting ready, so she had to skip on, a uh, Beating Caster. Bro, I don't... I actively avoid having alarm clocks now. Like, I use my phone, but I only use it if I really have, like, if I have an appointment. Because that's the only way I'm actually going to get my ass out of bed. Is if there's something I know I have to do, and the alarm clock wakes me up like half an hour beforehand. If I just set an alarm just for the sake of setting an alarm, yeah, I'm just going to snooze it and go back to sleep. Or just completely turn it off, like... I I am a very heavy sleeper, and unless the world is on fire, burning, I am not waking up. Well, you probably laughed because we all have this thing, right, where we're all, like, very attractive people. But we still look at each other and be. Well, we still look at ourselves and go, "I'm not. No, I don't see it. I don't get it. You know." Like how when I call you cute and you're just like, "What? Who? Where?" I got way better. I, I've gotten way better with that. Um, there was a point where. We just went out shopping for a little bit of clothes because one of the things he wanted to make up for was uh think cat past year or so there was some like care packages he meant to send in the mail but due to reasons he wasn't able to so he just bought all that stuff with him and he was like well it's your birthday next month so let's go grab you some clothes and I ended up finding a tank top I really like that he also really liked, so we got matching tank tops. <laughs> and after 
changing into the outfit that I picked out, I was like, man, I feel hot. <laughs> I have not seen Caster based on his name, I assume. The um, if you look in Justice's photos and selfies, I uploaded some pictures of the, the weekend. I didn't take a lot of pictures. I wish I did. But when I hang out with friends, especially ones I don't get to see often, I'm more focused on spending time with them more than I am taking pictures with them. Though I will try and remember to, where also if we're just friends that hang out regularly, I'm probably just not taking pictures of us because I'll see your face again. I'm not going to end up doing that thing where my brain's like, oh, you haven't talked to this person in like a month. You're just going to forget what they look like. I was stuffing my face with Swiss and meatball on Hawaiian rolls. <laughs> Perfect. 10 out of 10. Well, I'm definitely not showing the pictures on stream, because I still refuse to show my face on uh, public platforms, at least that are associated with streaming. Caster's beaver in French? Hey, hey you. Becky! There's two sides on the boat, right? Yeah. It's so weird playing Spyro in 60 FPS. Um. Oh, right, right there. I was like, I think that's all we can do? And it's like, no. There's definitely a little bit of gems and stuff that I can get uh, for this portion of the level. I think the rest of it now is going to be on the second half of the level. Did it? Did I... I did not talk to him. Oh well. I'll get him on the way back. Alright, here is the infamous trouble with the trolley. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's not why I'm here though. I am here for these. I mean, I am here for that, but also mostly those. There's a dessert called Beaver Tails, aka who's the caster is. Oh yeah, we've talked about Beaver Tails before. I want to try Beaver Tail. Well, I'm gonna visit, and we're gonna have Beaver Tails. Damn it. <laughs> what do you mean, dibs? He's already my boyfriend. Oh, I missed one. Back. I was too busy reading chat and I died! <laughs> I I missed it. I missed it. I jumped somehow I jumped in the middle of the air. I didn't hear you say dibs, ergo by rule. I mean we're Polly. The whole time 
I was with Caster. I was just gushing about my friends, pretty much. We talked about Snake, Pasha, Tons. Um, Ant kept popping up on my TikTok feed. Damn it. I thought I could just blow him up. So, uh, he's definitely seen Ant. Um, going through my Instagram is how I ended up telling him about tons. Uh, definitely told him about Velt, Pi, Justice. I had to give him a fair warning that he might say a word and or phrase that will set me off on a clanging spree. And I also failed to mention what clanging was. So I was just saying random shit and he probably just thought I was insane. This feels harder than the original. Which... I'm pretty sure Toys for Bob also did the Spyro... Or not the Spyro, the Trash Insane Trilogy. And that was something that was also a complaint there. Was that the vehicles just don't feel the same between the remakes and the originals. So I'm wondering if that's a thing, or if it's really just been that long that I just suck at this. I'm gonna try and focus on this. I need to go left! It could be, but there's a high possibility it's both. I think if I play through Crash Bandicoot on stream, I might go through the originals just because I know the vehicles are so much better. Vicarious Visions. What's that? Keep going left, get all these first. First want to crash ah oh, right. Okay, yeah, that that sounds about right. It's so weird that, you know, when the Crash Insane trilogy came out, it was kind of like a hint that a Crash 4 was coming. But Spyro Reignited Trilogy came out feels like forever ago at this point and there's just not been anything since it's been just radio silence there was rumors of a new Spyro game but like nothing ever got confirmed and it kind of makes me sad Also, you might now notice that there are reminders going off in chat for Gamamon and- What? Bitch, fuck you! Gamamon and the chat- uh, the clip command. I felt like that was a better reminder for people who are watching compared to reading the title. Because I know there is- I I've had the exclamation point clip command in the title for a while. Just so people knew it was there. But even when I was telling them that no one's using it, they're like, What? You had it? I would have known. If I would have known, I would have used it. I don't... F I, I think this is purely a means of delivering explosives for the war. Though, the fact that they have TNT boxes just, just laying around like this makes me believe that there's a few violations are going on? I, I fucked it up. I don't think I can get that again. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, there's no way I can get that, so I may as well just perish. And it's so weird. We've only done two worlds, and we're already an hour into stream. We might. 
We might need an extra stream of this. I feel like depending on if someone turns the AC on, that will determine if I go for longer. This is how the Halifax explosion happened? Oh my god. Sorry, I was reading Charlie's message. I should have read it first and then hop on the trolley. He told Bob was doing one, like said, rumored that Activision pulled the bullshit of making most of their dev teams stop on independent things and focus on the Call of Duty. I believe it. We're going, we're going gamer mode, and I'm still gonna die, but we're going gamer mode. Why is it always that one? I feel like the hitboxes for the boxes themselves are a little... Like, I'm in a very tiny cart. I feel like I made that. I think um, something I found out recently was that, I don't remember if it was Spyro 2 or 3, but there's a mod that adds a completely removed home world to one of them. And I was thinking of installing that, because I don't think there's any extra levels to it. I think it's literally just the home world that was scrapped in the game. Let's go! That was great work, Spyro. Now I can start fixing my machine. Here, I don't have I got an achievement, but I didn't pay attention to it. So I th think I'm missing fifty one gems. Apparently, oh, right. Fuck, I really hope I did actually blow up all those. Thanks, Sparks. By the entrance? I think I have to blow up the rest of the mines, which I don't... Remember how exactly to go about doing that? Oh, right. He's not going to help me find the last orb. And I don't think it's on the trolley.
I'm pretty sure it's just the one we need for breaking all the mines. But, like, my brain is really struggling to remember. I might need to do the trolley again. Oh, I just now realized that you said 24 hour tro there's no there's no 24 hour trolley stream there's supposed to be a bird around here asking me to blow up mines right also I don't See where the last few are, unless I do have to talk to the trolley guy again. I had the cannon installed to help me hit the. I'm not. No, I didn't. Hey, yeah, yeah, I see it. Okay, I see what I have to do. I don't think I don't know about your other war crimes, sir. Here we go. I'm never doing a 24-hour stream, at least not in my current living conditions. If there was a point where, you know, I had at least a room of my own, and I didn't have to worry about waking up at a certain time, like if I got a job or some shit, maybe. What? Oh, I was supposed to talk to this guy and I just completely ignored him. I just went straight for his cannon. Alright. I feel like those are honestly the longest levels out of the batch. Not we're gonna well, I say that, but I feel like there's definitely gonna be longer levels. We could just do the Badlands. I think this is the one where the fucking skeleton Fortnite dances, though. Oh well. That was, I think, a thing that I hated in the remake. That was from the like the original. I think it was the dude's name was Mr. Bones or some shit. I don't know. You're supposed to go through the level and collect his bones so he can start dancing again. And I think for some reason in the remake, they're like, what, what if you made it like a Fortnite dance? This up. Nah, I don't. I don't know why I tried shooting him like that. I could just. Um, so I think the skill point for this level is burn all the cactuses. And if I remember correctly, there are 
a lot of cactuses. This one is, I think we have to. S we have to keep Velociraptors from hatching, or. Also. Can I just. I don't know why I'm shooting it from now. I could just literally do that. No? No? I think there's a super breath then somewhere. Spyro, our village is being overrun by lava lizards. Can you get rid of them before they eat my little buddies? I'll lower the bridge for you so you can get over there. Sir? I... I just want you to, like, process what you just told me, right? You said that there were lava lizards in your town. And you were hurt. You were worried that they were going to hurt your buddies. But you locked them. You you locked your buddies in the town with, with the lava lizard. That's what I'm hearing, right? No, 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 no. Oh. Well done, Grasshopper. Take this shiny, uh... Uh-oh. It looks... Well, you can wait a hot second, because, uh... <laughs> hot second. Wanted to at least get a couple hits, you know, so I don't die. I'm going to kill this lizard so that way I can get that bone. I spit that out too early. Is everything on this level going to be measured in eighths? Or we could just get one out of eight things for, like, every objective in this level. That's what it's feeling like. Damn it. Rip, your buddy's dead, my guy. I found the village where Greg lives. This is where the Unga Bunga Bonk Titan comes from. Another shiny thing. I was going to use it as a night light. Bro, doesn't lava naturally glow? Aren't you always gonna have some sort of light? Just double checking for gems. And again, I don't know why when Sparks, right here. 
Lose some brain cells. Oh, there we go. That that was a line I think that was in, I think, Enter the Dragonfly that I never really got over was Zoe the fairy. Um, every time she hit you with the zap thing, like the first time she does it, she's like, oh, and every time I do it, you lose some uh, brain cells. And it's like, what? And she does it again. Hey, we can't burn the small cactuses. Either that, or we have to wait till we get super breath to put, uh, burn those. Oh yeah, need. Okay. I think that power up is going to give us overshield. Which is like Spyro's invulnerability power up. Did I not break that? Oh, I have to do it multiple times. I hmm. I don't know why this this level is just reminding me of I I have to double check to make sure this is an actual thing and I didn't just make it up. But you know that like series that would happen on YouTube called like Behind the Lyrics. I'm pretty sure like the skeleton at the end of the level is going to be flossing, and I'm just remembering that stupid ass flossing kid who thought like. He invented it, and it was all the rage. So he made, like, a fucking song about it. Yeah, I need overshield for that. No way I'm getting that. Let me just look that up real quick to make sure I'm not just, like, hallucinating some kind of memory. No, no, the backpack kid Flossin is officially- I hate- I hate him so much. I hate- Dude really thought he did so much. I feel like that kid genuinely thought he was going to be the start of some sort of era, but instead just made a fool of himself online. You know, not everybody who just does something needs to be famous, you know? Sparks, grab the purple gem. Why? Why? I'm so sad. Those pesky lava toads. Yeah, we're we're already on it, my friend. Don't worry. Your boy will be flossing in no time. I knew I'd win that bet. My cousin Gronk is a fool to bet against the dragon. Take this talisman for helping me out. I look at these guys, I'm like, man, why do I feel like I could see them in a Family Guy episode?
Oh, the skill points unlocked art gallery stuff. I don't. So I don't think they're necessary. That's right. It'd be nice to have, but I think just whatever makes the game say a hundred and I think it's one hundred twenty percent for this game too. Is what I'll just be doing. I don't. I don't think we really need the skill points. I think in the original game, really, all they did was give you a power, like, not a power, up, uh, an extra life. Check. We're good. Ah! Did we really not grab the... Okay. I don't know if there was an issue with Steam or something this morning, but I saw... I, I watched this series, uh, which is basically... I, I think it's just called I've Played X Amount of Souls-like Games That You've Never Heard Of. And it's just a guy going on Steam and digging through any games that are basically titled like a Souls-like and playing through them and reviewing them. Um, and recently, in his most recent video, he did Lies of P. And it was already a game I was already super interested in. I was planning on playing through it at some point. Whether it be on my own or on stream. Um, but after watching him play through the demo, I... I was like, man, like, a lot of souls. <laughs> I I went to go download the demo this morning, and it just would not let me. I don't know if Steam was just like having an issue today, but like I tried just initiating the download from the actual Steam client. Didn't work. I tried launching it through their website to download, and it would open Steam, but it wouldn't actually start downloading anything. What the fuck? Hello? Ah. But it, it generally looks fun. I am really excited for the... Please don't tell me I have to restart the, the bone collection. I think when you die... Okay. I thought it's when you died enemies reset, but the counters for their things still stayed there. But I think that was just a Spyro 1 thing. This does reset, though. But yeah, I'm excited for the weapon combination stuff that they have going on there. Um, really early on, the dude guys hands on this electric baton weapon that he mixed with the hilt of a rapier. So this electric club that did massive damage was now being wielded like it was a rapier. But I think I would go more for a slashing set of skills. I also just like the premise of that, like, puppets have taken over what I'm, I'm assuming is England or whatever the fuck Pinocchio takes place in. And everyone's pissed at Geppetto because he made them all. I'm pressing triangle and it's just canceling my jump and I don't know if it's because I'm not flying for long enough or... The jump in this game is really jank. Because this is the second time now where there's a jump that really should not be a problem that I am struggling with. I'm, I'm I'm gonna wait until, like, I'm, I'm, I get this lizard to even bother doing that. Oh, hey, there's a fossil on the wall. I never noticed that. You know, what if I just... Can I...
And I think the last of the gems are going to be in that vase. And I fucking, I went, ah, oh my god. Fine, whatever, we'll just do what we did last time. together please take this as a token of my appreciation there was another one you played where it was a top down um beat em up style game where it was all kind of like cartoony it was a souls like based in a top down like 90s cartoon style yeah he flosses This. The worst part is that's that's not going to be the last we're going to see of the flossing skeleton either. The flossing skeleton reappears in Spyro Three. Gonna go all the way back to the beginning. All right. I keep pressing the tab. Like normally, when you're playing on a PS4 controller, when you press the um, the touchpad, it's supposed to open up the guide. Oh, now it does that. I think if I press it in the middle, it does that. But if I touch left or right... No? I have to press it with two fingers to have it... <laughs> to have it count! Oh my god. I... The, I... Sorry to break it to you, Justice, but duck bread is not a command. <laughs> it could be though. What would duck bread even do? I don't that's That's what I've been thinking ever since you typed it. Also, OnlyFans content gone wrong confirmed. All right, so we've done two, three, four levels so far. Um, oh no, I've just been typing it in channels for a week. I'm, <laughs> I I hope eventually you find your duck bread. May the quacks be ever in your favor. I think this is the level I thought we were going to unlock the, the climbing in. Also, seeing how this world is taking a lot more time than I expected, we'll probably just wrap up finishing autumn. Oh, not autumn. Summer. Uh, nope. No. This is not what I was thinking of. In fact, this isn't a more. This is a more annoying level. So this is our introduction to Secret Agents Hansel and Gretel. Don't ask me why they made Hansel and Gretel fucking Secret Agents. Oh, sorry, Handel and Greta. Listen, he was going 
through, uh, like, he had really low blood sugar, and he just needed to have something. But his daughter, his daughter, his sister didn't believe him. So he was like, you know what, fuck you, bitch. Instead of, you know, going into a diabetic shock, I'm just gonna, you know, maybe raise that blood sugar level a little bit. There's something I have to do with those trees later, I feel. It's like, I know I've played these levels, it's just that until I get like halfway through, I never really understand all of the tasks they want me to do. So it's gonna be raise all the flags, I need to chase down a magic carpet and then save Hansel, or Handel. I think Hunter is also in this level? Up here? And he wants me to help him collect coconuts. No. I've been sent here to catch him, but they keep throwing coconuts at me, and it hurts. Great. Just chalk. <laughs> I think I'm the one that fucked it up. But he's going for this one first, so knock him down. Wait for him to get back up. Do it again. And he's going for, of course, the farthest monkey next. I feel like I'm going to die before I help him. There we go. More. Boom. Thanks for your help, Spyro. Please take this. One of the monkeys had it. Bro, all the monkeys are back on the tree. You did absolutely nothing. Put a lid on the barrel next time. You know, just do my little casual murder, you know. As dragons do. Not only, not only am I hoarding gems, but I am also hoarding the souls of the damned. What? Oh yeah, 
Um, so last night I was asking for suggestions of things I should put on my 3DS since I've gotten... That's a great question. Um, we don't know, but one day we'll find out. But I was asking for suggestions of games I should put on my 3DS, and I... I've loaded up the SD card as much as I can. I, sh I honestly forgot I should have probably gotten a bigger one. At some point down the road kind of thing, though. Um, but last night I got the great suggestion of Dragon Ball Fusion, which is like a spin-off game that is honestly way more up to date with the Dragon Ball anime. That it doesn't go as far as the Tournament of Power, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, basically, for those who don't know, it's up caught up to like the second to last arc in the Dragon Ball anime. And I, I just think it's a uh, really cool idea. I I didn't think I was going to like it at first. I'll be completely honest. I've seen gameplay of it before. And, like, it just seemed like a meh game to me. But now that I, like, started playing it, like, I thought I was going to be obsessed with Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Because I loved that game and the remake. For some reason, that remake feels better to me than the entirety of Dream Team. I feel like... Mario and Luigi Dream Team held your hand way too much. The world was not very fun at all to explore. And it just didn't feel like it really pushed you in the right direction sometimes. More than it was just hinting at things you could do. Which some might like that. I did not. I just kind of wanted to finish Dream Team, and I haven't even done that. I've gotten like halfway through Dream Team. And then I just stopped. Because the game just really isn't that fun. Um, I've also gotten the Superstars remake. I'm very excited for that. I'm glad they added a dedicated button to making both Mario Brothers jump. Um, to keep up with the, I think, Akira Toriyama art style, though. I also got my hands on Dragon Quest VIII remake. Um, I think it was the, the Cursed King. Journey of the Cursed King, and um, since Dragon Quest Monsters is getting a get switch a getting a Switch game that I'm really excited for, I am now. I think I'm gonna play through Dragon Quest Two again, or Dragon Warriors of Monsters Two again, but the remake of it, um, which is called I think Terry, Kobe and Tara's uh, Marvelous Mysterious Key, which. For the original Dragon Warriors Monsters 2, it was split into two games. Um, one where you either played as the brother or the sister, and like there was slight variations like Pokemon of what monsters you can collect or whatever. This is just kind of a mixture of both. It also has this cool thing where you can mix and match monster parts to make your own unique monster. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to use that, but I kind of want to just go and get reacquainted with the series before I play that, because if I do get that... It, I think it is going to 100% be a stream game. We need those flags to prove our secret mission was successful. But the flag keeper keeps stealing them. If you can knock the... My secret decoder ring says that this power-up thing should help you. I th think that dude's going to random towers, and I need to just figure out which one goes next. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Also, because... I I've mentioned it before, but because of how uh, much I hated how the old mics sound, I really didn't make an effort to save the VODs. I didn't want that era of my voice to be the one people remember. <laughs> so now I'm actually saving 
now that we're doing a playthrough with the new mic, I'm saving the VODs and I will be uploading them to YouTube. I probably, I'm not going to be doing any kind of special, I'm just going to be uploading, I'm basically turning my already existing YouTube channel into just a stream VOD channel. Which, if you really want old me content, there's content from before, like, Watermelon was ever included in my name, which people might find interesting. Though, a lot of it is spanning, like, my m possibly middle school, high school life. So it's going to be a very young chance people hear from. Ooh, Golden Scarab. What? Great. Yep. To do that two more times and they're getting progressively more annoying. I wanted to get my laundry in, but then I saw something about duck bread, so now I am going to spam it. Duck bread, 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 duck bread. There was a way to cheese this, and I can't remember if it was like just stay far to the right. No. Might just be stay to the left. Be careful of the doors. Nope. What well, I? What do you mean ignored? I sat through the duck bread belt. <laughs> I heard it. My brain was turning on. Maybe I could turn duck bread into a thing, but I was debating on if. Like, what I should do. I wish I had, like... I wish I had, like, a Steam Deck, right? That let me... Instantly switch between not only my hats, but maybe do costumes for a Gammon. Is so that something I was thinking before stream? Uh, earlier today, I was like, maybe before I take a nap, I should, like, make something. Maybe I should, like, finally put together that hat. Like, or just, I'm probably just gonna use, like, Spyro's horns for the melon. But I was thinking maybe I could, like, give Gammon his wings back. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Gammon actually has, like, little bat wings. And I was tempted to just, like, give him little, like, either give him Sparks' wings... Or Spyro's wings. Because it seems like majority of people want Gammon to stay, even though he was originally just going to be a advertisement for if you want to buy Gammon at my uh Kofi. But also Duck Bread was like, maybe Maybe I can draw a bread that's out of duck and steal Justice's idea. <laughs> like, have a thing where randomly Gammon transforms into duck bread. It would make absolutely no fucking sense. But I feel like a duck bread... Uh, chat pet would be something people might be interested in. But what do I make it like? Would I make it look like a like a, a toasted bun? A, like maybe a, like a loaf of bread? There's a Caribbean style bread called duck bread. Yeah, uh, like I didn't. All right, then. Let's go. Duck, I'm guessing duck bread's actually a thing. But also, I, I, I kind of want, I want, I want to try duck bread. Honestly, if there's a form of like 
baked bread that I have not just had on its own, I will gladly have that. Maybe lightly toasted. With some butter. Nothing. Well, honestly, even if it's just freshly baked, just, just that. I... I am a sucker for freshly baked bread. Um, there was a couple times in high school when I decided to be fancy and pack me lunch, and she would make me this amazing buffalo chicken sandwich that was made on this, like, she would go to this deli, and they would get the, she would get, like, a pack of freshly made bread, and it had, like, this weird spiral on top. Great job, Agent Spyro. How can we repay you for your efforts? May God bless my soul. If I ever get a place of my own, and I get a bread maker. Alright. Uh, Sparks, what are we missing? Oh, we're missing nothing. Alright, bet. For once we can actually leave through the exit portal. As soon as I remember where it is. Even though it's, I know it's right next to me. Yo, those kids smoked a wheat. They smoked a fat one. I don't know if we'll see them for the rest of this game. I know we will see them in Spyro 3. And we got a lot of lives. Um, stream's almost over. But I think we only have like one more level to do in Autumn Plains. Fractured Hills is the annoying ass hunter level. Oh, Spyro, hello. I'd... Um, fuck. I'm just not realizing there is. There's a hidden area around here. There's a wall I have to charge through. I think it's over here. Yes. I think that's the only secret like that in this entire game, too. The only reason I think you knew it in the original is because that wall actually had, like, a brick texture compared to the rest, which were a flat, like, cement. Um... Damn. There's a lot of this level left. I... I'm kind of forgetting that even though this game had the least amount of home worlds, it it was definitely up there with a chunky amount of levels. Uh, I think I actually had to go from the top of the castle there. Oh well. I'm dead. Goodbye, cruel world. Alright, go lurk. Do your laundry stuff. Um... How many worlds are there? There's a speedway, magma cone, fractured hills. Moneybags is guarding something over here. Over there. Nope. This is Shady Oasis. We have what? One. Oh! Three, four. Five. I would love to let you enter this. Um, we'll do, like, one or two more worlds, and I think we'll end up wrapping up this home world on Thursday? 
Would you like me to take you to a world where you can find a new talisman? Okay. Oh, yeah. Since we can only open the boss doors if we have all the talismans, if we're missing one, she'll just take us to a world with one that we haven't collected yet, which I'm glad is a feature that exists. Also, I hate that there's two speedway levels here. Um, let's do Volcano Cone or Magma Cone. I think Fractured Hills is the one where Hunter, we need to come back after we get like the Head Bash ability. This is the level I remembered from the game the most. This one. It's not too hot. Hello, Spyro. I suppose you're here for the party. Oh, I'm afraid it's been cancelled because the stupid Earth Shaper set off the volcano. How rude. Oh, right. I need supercharge to kill these guys, I think. I think I could kill just these guys, though. Yeah, they're made out of earth, so I cannot kill them with fire. I'm guessing that's the logic they put behind it. Hey, hey, I was admiring the base. Eat a dick. Oh, I need to knock him onto the X so the satyr can drop a boulder on his head. Why is he holding a magma boulder? How is he not singeing his hand? And singeing his Why is his hand not melting off of his body? Satyrs just be built different, I guess. I'm just now remembering, I think this is the game that has the... Either... There is a really annoying world in this game where there's a portion of a level where I have to basically go on a scavenger hunt that makes no sense to get the professor's pencil back. And I'm just kind of realizing, man, I... I'm just not looking forward to that level. It's not a large level at all, it's actually pretty small. It's just annoying. Hey, some of us want to eat dicks. I know, I'm one of them. I mean, what? You can do it, Spyro. I believe in you. Fucking rude. My God. They were just... Ready for fucking absolute murder of these earth shapers. 
There you are. Sometimes I have to ask myself, am I really helping the good guys in Spyro games? Oh, okay. What this? That rock guy looked like he was enjoying what was happening to him. I don't really hear much of a difference. Oh, there's a little bit. Oh. Money bags. I think I'd be able to tolerate money bags a lot more if he was hot. Best customer. The elevator in the next room can take you to the volcano. You can have unlimited. It's up. He reminds me too much of Squilly and Fancy Pants. No, there's still more gems over there. I think I have to, like, glide over to them. Yes. I'm... I'm sorry. What? Fuck! This minigame! Ah. Basically, we're playing uh, Whack-A-Mole Race with Hunter. A bear who wasn't hot at tragedy, right? Pops out of the ground. The first one to grab ten of them wins. I'm Steal a popcorn crystal from Hunter. I did a lot more than steal one. I'll give you another orb if you can beat me again. Um... I think because of how these games made you compete against Hunter like this. It kind of built towards the kind of relationship Hunter and Spyro have in later games, where they're very competitive with each other, but also, like, best friends. really tricky all of a sudden. He's gonna win. Or not. No!
<laughs> God, this hunter design is so much better than the actual one they gave him. Also, if he had a nose ring, that'd be everything. Give him a septum piercing. Okay, now we're ready to go. If Hunter dressed like Crash, I think that would be the ultimate kind of like look for him. But like modern Crash, where he had like the really baggy cargo short jean things. And the sneakers. Like, I think he would look really good like that. Crash for. Hey! I, I need to play more Crash for. I need to wait till I get my controller back. Or a controller for my PS4. Um, I got maybe to... I, I got to, like, I think it was a future level? Where I was fighting... Oh, uh, who's the weird guy? Well, that's the two bolts coming. Who, like, I think he's Dr. Cortex's, like, assistant. Like the one that you fought in the first game where he would drink the big po like the potion and become a monster. Um It's not in engage. It was something. But I got to hit like I think his boss fight. And I just stopped. It was either him or engine. Now that I think about it, it's probably engine. Like, I want to finish Crash 4, it's just... Thanks for closing the need a way to play it. Volcano, Spyro. Things were getting a little too hot around here. By the way, here's a talisman I was saving for the party later. I think you deserve it more. I mean, I guess I could just, like, play through the Crash games on stream. Because I can play en the Insane Trilogy on PC, it's just I would need to... ...re-complete one. I gave up on two. I probably would not complete two. I might try to complete two, but two made me very angry. Well, you would be those nasty. And what do you want me to do? Hit him with fire? Fire? They're magma monsters, my guy. Maybe. Oh. I know what you wanted to do. I don't see the big deal, my guy. They just want to party themselves. Like, what's what's the crime? You should have gotten more hats to accompany all these people. There was a... I think I did the first two or three worlds in Crash 4, 100%. I got, like, all the costumes and everything. Um... And, like, that... That was really as far as I got. I do want to play that. That... That does sound like a fun game to play. It's been a while since I've touched a Crash Bandicoot game. It feels, honestly, like a little bit of a crime that it's been so long since I've played one.
No, please. I don't need it, but I'll grab it. I'll just fly through here. Feels easier than going all the way back to the bottom. Don't talk to me or my dragonfly ever again. That is 100%. Exit level. Honestly, Crash Bandicoot in general, like, that series... Honestly, just hard. First game isn't too bad. I... I 100% of the first game pretty easily. Um... I even 100%ed Stormy Ascent. Which was the DLC level they added. For the, uh, remake. That was really fun. Two... Two asks a lot of the player. It really does. The level I gave up on was an ice level where you had to... Go through half the level without dying. And then when you do get there, there's a deathless path where you... It's a reward for playing that level deathless. And it takes you to this whole section where it's a side-scrolling ice physics platformer i'm saving fractured hills for later um as much as i would like to like just knock it out we still don't have the i don't think we have the ability we need to finish that 100 percent. so we're just not going to start it um i think the first area over here was a speedway i feel like we could at least end stream with that Would you like me to take you to a okay. No, I'm good. <sighs> They're necessary for 120. They're not going to get us closer to fighting Ripto. That's the thing. Um, but what you had to do for this like side scrolling ice platforming section was you had to get to the back without breaking while breaking all the boxes, right? But then on top of that, you also had to get to the end, collect a red gem, and then go all the way back backwards. Wait, I am just now learning that it could just break these instead of actually going after the bungee jumping guys. I I feel dumb. I've played this game for years, and I've never known that. Oof. I should have finished the pigeons, and then gone for the jumpers.
There we go. Hard. But I think for the second bit, I need to find Hunter in the middle of the stage. Speedway, but I think you might be able to help. A band of cat burglars have been raiding my re-election funds by scaling the walls. Great! Hunter can knock the scoundrels off of the buildings, but we'll need you to catch the loot before it lands in the canal and get... I don't remember this one being too difficult, but I could be wrong. It wouldn't have even landed in the water, my guy. It would have been fine. It was parachuting at a safe speed. I wonder if I can kill these things before Hunter. I mean, I feel like they don't want me to. But I will try it on this cat over here. Okay, I cannot. It sounds like you both don't like Hunter and want to fuck him. What? If they turned Hunter more buff, probably. I won't even lie. I want the people I hug to feel like a pillow. The speed rate wasn't too bad. I think we 100 percented it. I hope we 100 percented it. We did. There's a lot of stuff going on in this home world that like we just haven't even done yet. What exactly are we missing in this? We're missing about another 115 gems and two... We already know where one of the, the orbs are. Jeremy Hush, you give great hugs. And we're not touching that one yet. We have to. We have to at least beat the level. I think what we can do is we can get all the gems and we can get the talisman, but we cannot get all the orbs. So I'm not going to try to get all of them. I'll just get the ones that show up on the way. But I'm not touching Hunter. Hunter is staying stuck in a stone. <sighs> not these satyrs, though. These goat men, they could get it. <laughs> Thank 
thank you for releasing me. There are still some more satyrs trapped in stone. Oh, hello there, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> You're pretty cute for a quadruped. I wish I could hold a yo yo or a peach. Yo yo. A bunch of lousy earth shapers have encased it in stone. This might be like the only Spyro game where there's like the main race of people for that world show up twice. Like, these aren't, like, the same satyrs we just helped, but they're still satyrs. Same thing was also, like, with the cavemen, where there was the Ice Age cavemen and the Fire cavemen. I think in the third game, though, every world has its own individual race. Like, there's, um... I think there's seals, the Tiki men... These bushes absolutely terrified me as a child, and I fucking forgot they existed. So, we will be deforest deforesting this whole level. Honestly, I think that's also the skill point for this level, is just burn all the foliage. I could be wrong. there being something about this level with supercharge i'm trying to remember what it is never trust a bush a bush can hide many things This one was a lot faster than I thought. Like, this is a really simple task to get the talisman. It's great to be free. Now there's only one satyr left to rescue. Oh, there was... I wish we were playing through Spyro 1, because there was a mod I found on, I think, GameDB, where it takes all of the dragons from the first game and their upgraded designs and kind of demakes them. And by that, like, it takes, like, the new ideas of the... It takes the idea of the new designs into, like, a thing where it puts them on to... Hmm. How do I word this? Because I'm really struggling, even though I know it's not hard. It takes the concept of the new design dragons and reverts them back to their old polygonal, uh, polygonal, like, models, like the original dragons in the first game. Which, uh, one of the things I was dying for when this was announced was, I think someone released a special edition or they made a special statue for it, where it was the old crystal dragon, and I think it was, like, on a light-up base or something, and... Like, I, I fucking hate that all these cool things come out and I can never afford them. Bitch. Fuck you. So... We could just finish the level, I think? Oh, a dragon! Perhaps 
Perhaps you can help. My friend is locked in this room. So, our goal here is to go through that gate and break their friend out. But the issue is, I think we've already killed all the enemies we can. Um, we need Hunter to kill these guys, but we can't break Hunter out until we get help from him. But after going through all the trouble of breaking Hunter out to get his feet free, he's gonna make us do another thing that we can't do unless we have the... I think what's gonna happen is he's gonna go around and either knock these guys down and we need to head bash them, or... It's something around those lines. Like, there might be a couple that we can kill on our own by knocking them into the lava, but all these guys, they're basically invincible. Like, him? Yeah, he can die. You can die. Need the super speed to break that. Pig. I need a pig. Now we can help this lady. Wait, I'm pretty... I'm 90% sure. Oh, no. There was a way where it's like you get a higher jump with the supercharge. Could kill him. It's, it would take a while, but I could. You get death. The penalty for defying the dragon is death. No one shall be excluded from this. Alright, let's give that another shot. It's so good to the first time, just to fuck it up like that. Yeah, normally you're still supposed to be able to keep this jump when you have supercharge, I think at least in the original game. So, in the original game it is possible to just go through backwards and line it up perfectly like that. But here I think they took away that ability. Where's the pig? Fucking hell.
There we go. Boop. Oh, thank goodness you broke that door. I think we'll do the other speedway and then call it there. Maybe? This actually might have been the last world that actually had a talisman, now that I'm thinking of it. Do I have to supercharge through? I think I have to supercharge through this door. How? Wait, what? That doesn't feel right. I do need the supercharge to break this, though. I think that's where the last of our gems are. Um, can I talk to you? You were the last one I... There's a 100% a possibility that all I need to do is go back to this side of the level and there was a door there. Like 100%. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi, dragon boy. We miss this and those. Do it. Fucking dare you. And yeah, the last should be in the. I mean, he's just gonna be a little bit annoying. So. Excuse me while I mindlessly bump this guy into a lava pit again for another minute. Try this again. I feel like I feel like I can cut down a lot of this time if I took a shortcut, but I don't know what the fuck. There we go. Still gems left, bitch. Where? Oh, where Hunter is? Just stand yeah. Still, he says. I'll turn your boots to gold, he says. Oh, you don't even I wear don't boots, my guy. Sore eyes. I'd appreciate it. You don't think that's in the alchemist house? Oh no, on the side behind the alchemist house. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like 100% this is why I'm so anal with searching through things on games. Is because Spyro would always hide the gems in the stupidest fucking locations sometimes. And I would get paranoid that I was missing a bunch. Um, Spyro 1 Stone Hill. It's like one of the first levels you find. Is very much a... Let's hide a gem all the way off. Into the side. Completely out of an area you would even think to explore. And it's just a single gem by itself kind of thing. I just wonder there was a way to make him do a loop-de-loop. -loop. But 
that might be all the talismans for this world. I guess we'll learn from what's her face. No, Shady Oasis. You know what? Fuck it. We're just we'll just do it. We'll just fucking do it. We're already way over stream. May as well. May as well just finish up autumn. Bottom Plains or whatever the fuck this place is called. Oh, the thieves. They do not look good in this room. They did, they did them dirty. They're called cherries, my guy. And I don't know why. I think you're having an allergic reaction. I, I think that's what's going. Jesus Christ. Noted. Something the game doesn't tell you is that there are some enemies that are immune to fire, but if you hit them at just the right time, like whether their back is turned or they're doing a special animation, you could kill them without having to actually, like, charge them. Okay, you go through that door, I'm gonna go collect these. Uh, so, um, the appointment I went to for, uh, for today was for my brain pills, and basically it's just I go, I, I really don't see the point of why I can't just have this as an over phone appointment, because I only go in there for five minutes, and then leave, and it's like a 20 minute drive, I feel like it would just save a lot of time if they just called me on the phone and just asked me all this, because that's what my old therapist like place used to do um well she was asking about the effects and i was like yeah i mean honestly like brain wise they're all doing fine um i do still experience like some really like days where i just don't i'm just not motivated i just don't have the energy to do anything and i said well that's probably not even really much on the actual medication Oh, my insurance covers it. So, like, my insurance, like, either way, they're getting, they're being able to charge me for an in-person visit, or if I was on the phone, they would also be able to do that. But, uh, I was like, the only thing that's really not hitting with the pills is, like, one of the things they were prescribed to me for was also that they help sleeping. And I was like, the sleeping effect is really hit or miss, because sometimes it will kick in within, like, 20 minutes, and I'll be out like a light. But then there's certain nights where I'll take it at like midnight, maybe one in the morning, and I'm up till three, maybe five in the morning, just waiting for the effects to kick in. And she's like, oh, well, we can easily just like double that dosage for you. I was like, what? Really? She's like, yeah, your insurance will cover it. It's fine. I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm wondering if that's also going to strengthen the effect of the antidepressants and shit as well because honestly like the antidepressant side of it's been fine it's just that little little sleepy time shit that has been kind of like is that hit or miss damn i could have i could have killed it i could have killed it with fire but just didn't turn around honestly that's what i while i was there i should have just asked like hey can we just have this as like an over the phone appointment like, Lady's nice. I don't mind seeing her. It's nice to be able to get out of the house and see someone, like, on a regular, somewhat regular basis. Um. 
Like, yeah, it's once every four or five weeks, but that's still more regularly than I see other people. And I know it's just a doctor's appointment, but just like, it's an excuse to get me out of the house. So I'm not really too upset. Like, I even told my friends that, like, yeah, it's annoying to come down here and do this all the time, but like, it gets me up and out of bed before noon, and I actually get to like, go outside and like, at least speak to one other real person that I don't see every day. I think that's kind of why I miss my old therapist, because she was more of like a friend than a therapist. Like, though she was there helping me through everything and like, doing whatever, she also was like very just genuinely a nice person. And I really appreciated having someone like that that I could just kind of vent to without the worry of like offending them or some shit. Because there are some things that like, I don't know. I feel like I make general statements about people, and some of the, sometimes if I like vent those general frustrations about people to people, they might realize that they might have been one of those people that were like doing shit that either pissed me off or made me feel unwanted, and that's not the vibe I really want to give people. Even though it is something that should genuinely happen, because people do need to kind of self-reflect on how they treat others. I just don't like being the person that makes them real. I, I wish people would realize it on their own kind of thing. Boy, he fit. And he glitchy. No, 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 stop. See, that's why I don't. A magic lamp. Thanks. Our magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis. I got an achievement for not touching the green liquid once while beating the level. It really wasn't that hard. May as well grab that. No, I will 100% say that. My lack of communication with others is also part of me because I myself struggle with keeping in touch with people. I am a very much out of sight, out of mind person. And if said person does not talk to me, I just forget they exist. There are several occasions where I have forgotten my own mother exists just because I don't live with her anymore. And it's not that I don't miss her or like whatever, it's just when I don't see people for a long, I just don't think about them. It's just a thing with my brain. And I can't help it. And it makes me feel bad, but also, like, I can't help it. Oh. 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 I think it wants me to go the other way and chase it like that. Lamp, get, let's go. Yeah, that that's kind of the, the thing I take. Like, I, I do reach out to people. I, I try. Like, um, you are one of them. They're, if you're not like, okay, it's, how do I explain this without sounding like a terrible person? The reason I feel like I have so many friends now and that there's a lot of people that I feel like I can talk to or like I genuinely think of them all the time is because now I'm constantly on Discord sitting with a group of at least like five to ten people every night. So those five to ten people that are usually there with me every night are either on like my list of like favorite people, like people I absolutely adore being around and like, I think of them as really good friends. But it's not, like, there's, it's not like to say that someone I don't talk to all the time can't be, like, a favorite person. It's just that those people are the one that I keep in constant contact with. Because they're always just there. They're on the screen. They're always talking. 
there's not like a moment where I, you know, might forget to respond and then three days later I'm like, oops, hi, sorry. But about that conversation we were having, kind of shit, you know? One more, and I don't remember where he is. Spyro, my brothers have been trapped in solid rock. I'm afraid you'll need to learn some kind of head. Okay, so we can't do this one either. Which I don't think we can even get all the gems for this level because there's a head bash like crate over there. God damn it! Sometimes I find all the time I feel bad because I'm probably being annoying. No, actually, I kind of encourage that behavior. Not gonna lie. Because I... It feels weird. Like, definitely contacts would be a two-way thing. You shouldn't have to rely on one person to solely create all of the interactions. That's that's what I kind of gave up on doing. Where it felt like for a lot of my friends, um, I had to be the one to initiate contact with them. If I ever wanted to hear from them, like, ever. But there's also people like my boyfriend, where they're also the same way as me, so it's not like they don't intend to reach out. It's a... They... I don't reach out to them at all kind of thing. Unless, like, they're, something reminds me of them. Or shit like that. And then I feel like the asshole, because I also am doing the thing that uh, I get pissed at other people doing to me. Boop. Yeah. Yep. Magic lamps. Here, take this orb. Some fairy left it with me, but it won't hold a proper shine. Um, there's a couple of friends where I f like I felt like I was constantly being the one to initiate contact with, and like because of that, it felt like. I valued their friendship more than they valued mine, kind of deal. Um, yeah, can't do this if we have head bash, so that's definitely a next level thing. So we're not gonna be able to complete this level at all. But may as well get this and get as many gems as we can. Um, so I just, honestly, like, there was a point, or like a few months ago, where I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just no longer initiating contact with these people. And the people who do initiate contact back, you know, do reach out to me if they haven't heard from me in a while. Those are the people I kind of want more in my life than the people that I could go six months of not hearing from them. And then one day out of nowhere, they're just being like, all right, we're still best friends, right? Even though I know there are people that are like that. And I understand that there are people that are like that. I am someone that is very much like that. But also, it makes it kind of like there's a wall where I cannot communicate with people. To where, um, there's one, there's a group of friends. Um, I, I love them. They're great. But there are some that I will send messages to maybe two or three times a month, right? But... I might not get a month uh, reply until like two months later, and they will send me a paragraph replying to everything I've ever sent them, and what they might have seen me paste, uh, post on socials and whatnot. And it's like, yeah, that's cool and great. I don't know if you need a social media break or whatever, but also that it kind of makes me feel like shit. That you just don't want to talk to me unless it's very convenient for you. So I just stopped the machine contact with them.
Which reminds me, Snake, I, I have to send you an invite. Because I would like to hang out with you more. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have all 14 talismans, your guidebook can break the lock on the door, and you can fight Gulp. All right, let's fight Gulp and then stream. You'll have to jump down the hole in the floor to get to where Ripto and Gulp are waiting. I can help you out a little bit. I tamed some pterodactyls from Skelos Badlands. They'll be dropping in objects that you can use to fight Gulp. Gulp's fight, I remember being super... Not hard. Um... Not tedious either. It's it's an involved fight. Like one fuck up, and I feel like you kind of screw yourself for like no, some damage. Finally made Avalar ours. You've earned a special You'll see. Go. What is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. A real bad mission point. So I was going to keep up with peeps, but like so, if I'm the only one in contact, it's harder and harder for me to be like motivated. To... Exactly. Charlie is probably like. The only high school friend I have, besides the one that I am living with, that I initiate regular contact with because she reaches out to me and I'll reach out to her, whether it just be sending memes or doing whatever. We genuinely, like, hang out multiple times a week in Discord. We chill, we do whatever. Even with, like, the work and stuff they have to do. Like... Charlie is one of those people where I feel like she still makes time for me to hang out. He's not, this is like Gulp's fight. It's not like every few hits he goes to a new phase. It's like every hit he does, he, he can do something completely new. Yeah, I know you would. You've done it before. Bro, what? Did they add a pattern to this now? Where he doesn't do it? Maybe he always did it and I just done this so little that I just don't know the pattern. No, if we can get a butterfly up in here, that'd be great. Nope. Can I just, like... You know, can I just, like, not... Can I just, you know, we'll jump in lava and just win the fight? No. Like, I just wanted to stay on the ledge and run around in a circle, because I don't think he can get on the ledge. Come on. You can do it, buddy. Okay, I guess I can't just run along the ledge, but whatever. Now you're dropping chickens? Alright, cool. Eggs, now, please. Ow. 
now. I... I'm not sure on how it wants me to dodge that. Just like that. What? I am. Oh. Okay. Chicken? Chicken, please. Oh, chicken, please. Chicken, please. They gave me one, it was just way too late. I... I don't... Oh. I don't know if the dodge roll was originally in the game, like, the first one, like, version of this game. If it was, I never made use of it. Too excited for the chicken. I he definitely crushed me, but like the dodge roll gave me iframes. Not good not good enough iframes, apparently. I wish there was a lock-on feature where I could, like, lock onto him and just strafe. That's something I missed from Ratchet and Clank, because that would really work well with the, uh, the dodge roll.
Alright, chicken time. I think I can easily bait him on this. Now that I'm paying attention to how the cannon actually fires. Chicken. If we can get another chicken, I'd like to move on with the fight. I don't think they're going to be that nice. I think they're only going to give me one whenever I am at zero hearts. Or dragonfly. Damn, I just... This is this is move I am... I am confused on. Not this one, but like the... The slam. I don't really know how it wants me to go about dodging that. Oh! That's a new one. Maybe, do I just have to charge under him? Like, walk normally and then charge, like, through under him? Also, someone came in and turned the AC on. I am very happy. There was a rocket right here. I don't know why I just didn't go with the rocket. It would have been so much easier and I would have avoided damage. Come on. Oh. See, now he's mixing it up. He's gonna... No. Four more hits. As I only have one heart left. He's gonna do the jump thing, isn't he? How come the one time I lit it on fire, it actually, like, just jumped to him? Um. Um. Fuck you. I feel like there's a way where I could, like, make that go back at him. And I'm still not sure about how that works. Cool. I'm just... Awesome. Just, just do it. Just, just murder me. I'm glad we have, like, 30 li 32 lives after all that. Because they are, they are getting eaten up fast for this boss. I don't even think Ripto's boss fight is this annoying. God, we've already lost like nine lives. I'm probably I might. There's a good possibility I might actually get a game over. I think I doubt it with how many lives we ended up building up, but also like I'm doing stupid shit like that. Yeah, this is this might be a trash run.
Let me get all my health back, and then I'll worry about... Okay, I don't have to wait until he's charging at me. I need to charge at him. That's... that's what I'm doing wrong. I didn't think I was going to dodge any of those. There's definitely going to be like a skill point for beating this fucker with ta out taking any hits, and I'm never getting that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, chickens please? I think I- I think I got this. Also, think one of those eggs dropped an extra life, because I should be at 20, like, 2 or 21 lives now. I don't understand how him slamming the ground breaks the eggs in the air. Also, um... Stop changing up your patterns? That'd be great. Chickens? Chickens? You did not just regain a heart. You fucker. I didn't- I hate gulp. more chickens. I need at least two more chickens. Yeah, sure. Barrels. Fuck me, I guess. Lady, I thought you were here to help me. You're, like, really just not giving me anything to work with. Besides explosives. I need life support. I need a healer. You should switch to Mercy.
I would love a chicken right about now, guys. You know those things that you kind of devolve into? I hate pterodactyls. I hate gulp. I hate ripto. Get fucked. That bomb didn't explode. Like, I'll, I'll take it. But that's weird. It's weird that there's still a bomb there to work with. And I already need more dragonflies. Or butterflies. Cool. I killed the chicken and stayed at exactly the same health. <laughs> because I can't stop getting hit for shit. No. Oh. You. Did you eat that? You piece of shit? You pizza shit? I don't feel like gulp was this hard in the originals. I don't know how it hits you, but I'll take it. I wonder if I walk like this. But I think what he's doing with the lasers is he's aiming where I'm about to walk instead of, like, the direction I'm facing. So if I start walking backwards, I could probably just avoid getting hit altogether with this. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Or not? That or I just... really misread that whole thing. Just getting up. I think he's waiting to steal an item. Or he's glitched. Nope, oh, there he is. Man really just faked me out like that. You. I hate this guy so much. The fact that he can steal my health power-ups is absolute dog water.
I should have gotten hit at least once for that, but I'm glad I didn't. Oh, now we're just shooting six. Okay. Awesome. Great. Love it. Oh, oh. I didn't see sparks, and I got super worried for a second that I was about to... I'm about to die. Charge, please, again. This I can manage easily. I feel like I could easily manage just way more than the, the missiles. One more. One more. Come on. Pterodactyls? Okay. Really? That's fucking... I hate that it's doing the shit where he's just bug... Why is... Where did... What? One of his lasers disappeared for like a second. I was, where the fuck are the eggs? Did I really get to the end of the fight just for these assholes to glitch out? I did. I really fucking did. Are you serious? They have no eggs. They're not dropping me anything. I I have, I hate this. I have to die. Just for a little bit of a change up. My fault. The part of me just really wants to rush through this fight, but I know I can't. You think with how long this game's been out, they would have had a bug patched for, like, you know, something as crucial as the big, like, feature of this boss fight not working? I feel like that should have been something patched out a long time ago. I wonder if fans have made a bug fix for that. I feel out of all the people, they'd be the ones to fix it.
I am. Wow. I did not expect to struggle this much on one boss. I feel like we've spent more time on this boss than we have on most of the levels. But oddly, I'm still not like... I'm honestly not mad. I'm mad that the game glitched, but like... A lot of the deaths so far have just been plainly due to my... My impatientness. Can I just... Nope. Yeah. Like... I already knew that I should probably like walk backwards and like zigzag and shit for that, but I just... I just keep not doing it. Because I just want to run right at him and just beat the shit out of him. You know, something I'm surprised of, um... That I'm only just thinking of now, because I'm just... I'm just thinking of all the things that could be done with this game. I'm surprised that no one has taken the design of Adult Spyro and reworked these games to be playable as, like, him as an adult. Because, uh, his concept art was released a while ago. And, like, he stands on two legs, like, all the... The Avalar? No. Yeah, the Avalar dragons. And he has, like, this really cool, like design to him that I think would just make really a really good thing for like a new game it would add like a whole like he could like you could keep his mood sets to keep like the charging the break like the flame breath and shit oh my god Jeremy yes please 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 I can either find my my physical copy for the PS4 of this, or I also have all the originals on PS1. You can also just play through uh, overclocked uh, console, if you know what I mean. That felt a little too erratic. That probably would have been the smartest thing to do out of this whole thing was any time we get a rocket. Aim a triangle. As long as you're sitting next to me on the rock. Oh, absolutely. first game, I could 100% plow through without thinking. The third game is one that I like to take my time with, just because I, I'm very nostalgic for the worlds and shit. This one... This one makes me feel things. And I'm not sure if all those things are good. Shit and die. Oh my god. Yeah! Alright, let's start looking for someone to raid. Uh, I, I clicked out of the game and it skipped the cutscene.
I want to. Can I just alt tab back into the game? Think I have it? There we go. Excellent. Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the super portal should work again. <laughs> Let's kick it. So you thought you had gotten rid of me? Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Quick, the power crystal! Don't even try it, book boy, or you'll Dude, be the world's it. smartest pile of ashes. Just run. This is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something, quick! Uh, hey, give that back! <laughs> Well, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> you little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! There we go. So next time on stream, we will. We could go back to Summer Forest and like finish this up because all this required was us having the ability to climb. But I think we'll wait until we get the headbutt ability to go back, like after we finish this world. Because I think, let's see, just off the top of my head, how many? Ripto's still alive, and he's locked us out of the castle. Even worse. He's stolen our new power crystal for the super portal. So, one level. I think there's one underground, too. Three. I think there's, there's, pro there's at least four stages that we have to do here. There's definitely more. But... That's... That's a Thursday problem. Alright, who is streaming? Is there anyone playing anything that we particularly are fond of or care for? Not really. So I'm debating between Puzzled Monkey Tree and Heck. I think we're going to Puzzled Monkey Tree. Puzzled Monkey Tree is a very jolly fellow and I, I enjoy listening to him play games. And he's playing Elden Ring. I love Elden Ring. I think 12-year-old Ant had a crush on Hunter. Um, I didn't have a crush on Hunter, but he definitely was my favorite character. Like, hands down. Um, I absolutely adored Hunter growing up. I would love to see a new take on Hunter where he's buff as fuck, though. That's probably what would... Uh... Something that would get me. <laughs> Raid. Monkey tree. Uh, Alright. Alright. So, next... No, this Thursday we'll be taking on... What is this place called? Winter Tundra? Winter Tundra. And possibly just 100%ing the game. Um, so until then, I hope all of you all have a great week, and see you next time. Bye-bye.